All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, this Sunday morning, guys, I'm gonna show you how I'm using the Laser Pecker 4 to set up for doing business cards for my photography business. Now, this little stack of cards I did purchase on Amazon. This is the thicker version of the uh, metal business cards that you can get on Amazon. So to show you guys what I mean, as you guys can see here, this is a much thicker version. These do not bend as easily as, say, something like these much thinner ones. So that's what we're gonna be uh, experimenting with today. We're gonna engrave onto some of these business cards and I'm gonna set this up in the um, Laser Pecker. Uh, we're gonna use the Laser Pecker Studio app and I'm gonna show you how I have the business card set up and how to set it up uh, for your laser, okay? So right now you guys can see here, I have the laser already pre-set up, the uh, slide extension is already connected to the laser, so we're good as far as that goes. If you guys don't know how to connect the slide extension to your laser or to set that up, let me know in the comments and I will do a separate video explaining how I set everything up, but I'll kind of run through it a little bit here this morning. All right, so let's pop over real quick uh, to our app. So this is the Laser Pecker Design Space, and you guys can see here, I have a number of these card uh, layouts, designs. Now I have turned them uh, 90 degrees so that I can set them up where I can just kind of burn these one after the other. Now I'm not gonna make you guys sit through each and every one of these, but I do want you to be able to see as you select these in your preview, you'll be able to go you know, between the different cards. So like for instance, I have this bottom one here selected. If I hit preview right now, it's going to send the preview over to the laser. So let me go ahead and just gra grab this one right here. Let's go ahead and hit preview. It's going to send it over to the laser and you guys can see here the laser is gonna move in position for where that first card is uh, on, the, on the board. Now, I sometimes I will adjust the uh, slide back and forth, but for this video so you guys can see what's going on, I'm gonna leave it a little bit forward. So with the first card, all I'm gonna do here is position this business card right about there, okay? So that way we know for a fact for that business card, let's just go ahead and select just that single business card. All right, that's there. So that business card is for the most part centered So let's just say that's gonna be business card number one. And then we're going to select business card number two. The laser's gonna to move to that position. Then you place your second card. Like so. Now I'm seeing that I need a little bit more separation in the card so that I can have them all fit perfectly on the board. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about there. So. As you guys can see how close these are together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one first and I'm gonna move this one up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna nudge it up just a little bit as well. So that way I'll have a little bit more space uh, between the cards so they're not right on top of each other. So now as I go through and switch between the different cards, you guys can see it'll jump to the second card. So that's our second card, looks pretty well framed.
Now, when working with these metal business cards, guys, you will have to nudge them around a little bit to get them exactly where you want. I have a lot of lights on in the studio, which makes it a little bit more difficult for me to see the outline. So I'm gonna bring the outline up just a little bit. Maybe you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'm just going to now position this card. And we're gonna go back to card number one. And we can see that it is offset. So we're gonna position that one. All right, so that's about where I want the first one. Now let's see where the second one's gonna fall. And I'm gonna move that up a little bit. That's a good position for that one. Then we're gonna go to our third card and we're gonna nudge that up a little bit. And I'm nudging this actually in the app in case you guys are curious. I'm not actually using my hand for this positioning. Now, if you're using your smartphone app, you can just nudge this uh, with, the, with the app itself by just dragging things around. Okay, so now we have all three cards, as you guys can see here, lined up. So let's go back to number two and to number three. All right, so these are primarily ready to burn, guys. So at this point, the only thing you're going to have to do is to select you know, all of your different objects that you want to be burned uh, on your cards. So in this case, I could just select all of these and it's just gonna give me a full outline of everything that's on the board. I can go um, quit preview. And then of course you wanna check your power settings. So in my case, I'm doing 100% power using the uh, fiber laser, which is our 1064 uh, uh, nanometer laser. And I have the set at 100% power, 10% depth because of the uh, thickness of these cards. So I'm just gonna run this and I will come back here at the end of the video guys and give you my final thoughts and you guys can take a look at what the uh, final result of the uh, engraving looks like. All right, so let's get it, let's get it. Let me find my laser glasses. I do not have this in an enclosure. So I do have to put my super cool stylish laser glasses on as you guys can see here. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit our engrave button and confirm and it's going to send the files over to the laser and hopefully everything will run as expected. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop talking right now and I'll come back after all of these are done and we'll talk about it at the end and I'll give you my final thoughts. project has finished so let me show you guys now that I can take my glasses off let me show you guys what the end result looks like so this is one of the business cards as you guys can see my little graphic art is there my uh, QR code is there as well let's scan the QR code with my phone just to make sure that everything does work I'm trying to do this both with, with <laughs> I'm doing this with um, two hands, guys. So let me go back here real quick and let's try this again. All right, so let's grab our card and I'm gonna scan it with the phone. I'm gonna click on the link. And as you guys see, it takes you to my photography website from this QR code. And yes, the QR code was generated from the app itself. So the anchor, I'm sorry, the, um, the app for the laser pecker uh, I use to create the QR code. So, you know, if you guys are interested in that and you're trying to figure out how to set up your own QR codes, there is a facility in the app that's gonna allow you to create your QR codes. All right, so let me show you that real quick and then we're gonna wrap this thing up. All right, so let's pop back over here real quick to video. Under your tabs here for text, let me show you guys, whoops, right here under text, you have the option of text, QR code, or barcode. So you can actually create your own QR code right here. Just click on it, draw it out, then click on it, double click on it again. Then you can enter whatever it is you want to you know, place in here. This could be anything. 
Uh, it could be laser pecker. I think it's .net or .com. I can't remember which one of them it is, but that would be, you know, whichever you'd want to place there. And then you would just enter that. And now you have a vector QR code that you can resize uh, to, you know, however large you need it to be for your project. And then you can place that in your design. So this is all built into the laser pecker design uh, space. All right, so let's go ahead and delete that so I don't wind up saving it. Now, something that you guys may have also noticed is that the laser printed out of order. And what the reason why that is is because this is not one solid graphic, right? So you got a variety of different things that are going on. So I have my artwork, I have my text, I have my QR code, I have this little outline. So it was basically jumping back and forth. So what you may want to do at some point is to go into your layers and just kind of organize your layers based on, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be, um, you know, cutting out or designing or whatever the case is going to be. So you have some type of significant order. If that doesn't matter to you, then it's probably not going to be that big of a deal because it really doesn't matter to me if the laser's jumping back and forth. But for efficiency's sake, you know, most people who are, you know, OCC are going to definitely want that to, you know, follow some type of order. All right, guys. So it has been Rome this morning, this Sunday morning. I wanted to do a video for you guys early this morning just so I could get you guys on the right path of getting out there and creating something new with your Laser Pecker 4. Now, if you don't have the slide extension, I can show you another way a simple way that you can use a jig that you can download the uh, file for in 3D print and set up on your standard setup for your Laser Packer 4 to do basically the same thing. You're just gonna do one business card at a time. So I do recommend if you if it's in your budget, guys, and you can get the slide extension, as you see, this thing is very beneficial when it comes to creating this type of uh, these type of projects. All right, guys, it's been Rome with Rome Knows Tech, and I will catch you all in the next video. And don't forget to stop by my live stream over on Amazon. I am live on Amazon, usually Tuesday through Saturday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Come on through, hang out with your boy, ask questions. I demo this stuff almost every single night. Some type of tech we're going to be talking about. All right, my lovelies, I will catch you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Peace. I am out.